it's time to get on the road for Cars and Candy. So Nick, introduce yourself to the people. Tell them about your car. Hey, I'm Nick. Uh, this is my used and abused 2019 WRX that I take strictly to and from work and also haul my dogs around in. And what's your favorite part? Favorite part of the car? Uh, I have to say, I like it's a stick that has a quick smirk to it. It's really sensitive when you get the gas and as you're shifting, it's, it's quick off the line. Nice. So far I've hit an undisclosed disclosed amount of speed in it. In Mexico, of course. In, in Mexico, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. No, nowhere, no nowhere in Arizona have I. Not in the U.S. Not here. Not here. No, sir. It's a fun commuter. I got out of my truck and got this so I could get to and from work. And even though it's a WRX, I still get about 33 miles a gallon going to and from on the highway. That's a win today. 2019 with 92,000 miles. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Drives the hell out of it. Drives the hell out of it. Still running today. It has custom bug splatter. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have that one. Yeah. 
That's the love. That's the love. So tell me your name. Tell me a little bit about what you got here. All right, my name is Jacob Flock. Uh, right here we have a 1991 Subaru Sandbar. Uh, two wheel drive, four cylinder, 660 cc's. It's a beast, 0.6 liter. Nice. Straight import from Japan, right hand drive. So this came off the boat from Osaka, straight to Long Beach, and I picked it up. Woo. Uh, haven't done too much to her yet, but do have some plans. Make it a little bit of a utilitarian work truck. Hopefully just Hell yeah. a little while and use it. Hell yeah. And what is your favorite part about this car? My favorite part about or this truck. truck. <laughs> That's okay, they taxed me like it was a truck. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. So my favorite part about this truck has to be the looks. Oh, I understand that. I had multiple people stop me on the road just to take pictures and offer to buy it. <laughs> that's so sick, it's so sick. I would love to have a truck, especially a right-hand drive truck, out of all things, it's a beautiful thing. And what's your least favorite thing about this car? My least truck. favorite thing about this truck is the top speed. What's the top speed? Top speed with these wheels and tires is about 65 miles an hour. Oh, wow. So yeah, you can you get barely get on, you, you can barely get on the freeway. Oh, wow. But it's still legal. It's still legal. What was it before you changed the wheels and tires? Uh, it was about 72 to 75 okay. miles an hour. Wow, they made that much of a difference, huh? Yeah, so the smaller tires actually with the rotational, I have no idea what the science is, but changed it. That's beautiful. It was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful truck. I'm glad that you brought it. So clean. Anthony, still the stock transmission. So okay. It's going to shit. My homie said it was a, it was a little, it does a little rattle. Yeah, is it, it might be the, is it the throttle bearing? Oh, uh, that's what yeah. everybody says it that's is. That's what it is, more than likely. Uh, so I'm just waiting. I have the transmission in Cali. I just gotta bring it. Okay. I have, I have a new shifter thing. I have basically everything to change the transmission. Nice. You ready? I just don't have yeah, the time. Yeah, it's the time and yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a day thing. Yeah. It's a for sure a day thing, even but a weekend thing for that matter. Everything stopped, nothing done to it. What's your favorite part? How low it is. It's pretty hey, that's low. good. It is low. It's. I feel like it's almost lower than mine. If, if not. Yeah. It's, if you had a lip, you'd be scraping it. Back one. Okay. I took it off. Uh, was it on the ground? It was scraped everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, speed bump. I was like, might as well just take it off. <laughs> I, only, I only have the side one right here. Oh, the side goes, marker. Yeah, it goes all around. Oh, I see what you're saying. So yeah, I yeah, yeah. Took that one off. Dang. It rides, it rides good though. Yeah. Even though it's low, my homie said it would be a scrape everywhere. Yeah. It does scrape. From time to time on yeah, big bumps uh, and whatnot, yeah. If you look at the roll and just start working on it, yeah. you no scraping at all. Yeah, that's, it's perfect. That's what it feels. That's the best part. Yeah, I'm the same way. Do you have frame rail braces on this at all or no? No, yeah, because that's that's what I got on mine. I would recommend it, yeah. especially if you're going to be a low car. That way, you're not messing your frame rails up, yeah. and that will save you because you'll just you'll hit a speed bump and you'll slide over it, uh, so you won't even care. Sure, I don't have that frame rail braces. Yeah, definitely would recommend. Definitely would recommend. That is a a must for any low car because it'll just save you from hitting a speed bump too hard or hitting a bump in the road randomly, and then oh, you won't have yeah, to worry yeah. about it. I I just look to see if yeah, if oil. there's anything behind oil me and we're still good and we're, we're still cruising. Right, we're yeah, good. exactly. Look at my oil pressure, everything. I'm like, okay, we're good. Hell yeah, that's but, that's awesome. Ronald, uh, I think my favorite part is probably the wide body kit on this thing. Nice. What is it? What kit is that? Is it carbon Miata or is no. it? No, it's uh, I think it's one of the new. I think this is a circuit spec. Circuit wide body spec. Oh, okay. Or I don't even think I've, sport wide body. I don't even know if I've heard of that one. Yeah, circuit sport wide body. It does look good. Uh huh. Nice. And what's your least favorite part about um, the car? I think my least favorite part is. I know, man. Whole I know it's a tough nice. question. It's a tough question. It's a very tough question. <laughs> it looks really good. Really, really good. It's clear that you guys have put a lot of time into it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Time and effort. That's all. That's really all I need to it's appreciate anything. Yeah, <laughs> the struggle is always real yeah. when it comes to putting a turbo on anything. Yeah, you guys did this on a weekend, basically. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. I think my least favorite is probably the stock arms. We want to get you know adjustable arm for the control arms. Okay. Yeah, I think that's probably my least favorite. Are you trying to do like crazy camber, or just trying to get a little no, bit more adjustment out of it? Trying to get a, a dialed in alignment. You know. Okay, that's fair. Of course, you know, with the stock arms, you can't, you can't bring. Yeah, you can't move out, anything. Yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. No, that's perfect. Hi, my name is Jacob. Nice to meet you, Jacob. Uh, Tell us, what's your favorite part about this Miata? The wheels, for sure, actually. I can understand that. Yeah, yeah. yeah wheels, for sure. I can absolutely understand that. They are beautiful. I was looking for these wheels for a uh, very long time. Probably a couple of years since I had my first Miata. Yeah. And, did uh, you have these on, like, did you have this on the original Miata? The first uh, ones, or so no? I, I, it took me about 
three or four years of actually searching to find a good set nice. in this condition. Yeah, what's what? 15 by seven? Um, they are, yeah, 15 by seven. Yeah, nice. there's a weaker spec, but. Uh, hey, no, <laughs> hey, hey, it fits on a Miata, and that's, it, it works that's for me. really what matters. It works for me. This is so clean. This is so clean. Dude, your hard top seals look so good too. I'm like, this part especially, mine has always been falling off. Really? Always been falling off. So That's the one thing I need to buy. The person I bought it from never actually used the hard top. They had it sitting in their garage. The what the hell? Okay, all right. This is the hard top front back here. Okay, so. yeah, this <laughs> is this is a work of art. This is the work of art. So for these, is this something different or is that? That's just a cap that they come with. So never seen them with, with the with screws in them so i don't know if this is factory or not oh, okay i personally don't know they just came with the car fair i know that's the hard top is the same one from factory i assumed that those were but they might be yeah awesome that's afterwards. fair so what's your least favorite thing about the car my least favorite thing is um, if you have a least favorite thing it's hard i know it's a hard question <laughs> it's a very hard question um, to answer especially I when it looks this fucking good i'd say my least favorite thing is uh probably the like overspray on the window here you can see it has like white paint overspray on oh okay there's just a little bit couldn't get it off. just yeah. a little oh you probably bought that out i'm sure i could i i'd have in due like, time tried clay barring it or anything but yeah that, that be... does bug me because when you're in the car you can see it a lot oh really yeah. okay that like, makes sense looking through like the window and stuff God, these oh, it just looks so good <laughs> it just looks so good like you don't ever see clean Miatas anymore like clean, clean yeah. bone stock Miatas. So yeah, it's, it's, well, it's it, not bone stock anymore. Oh, it's not bone stock. What'd you do to it? So it's lowered. Um, well, I guess, I guess, yes, that makes sense. It has the racing, uh, racing beat front sway bar and then the Super Miata rear. Uh, the adjustable Suspension. Suspension. Full exhaust header back. Dang, so this has got some stuff done to it. Yeah, it's got some stuff. It's nice. got a Super Mia radiator as You've well. been busy, sir. Yeah. Did it come like that? Or you've been buying a bunch of stuff and putting it on? Me, yeah. Hell yeah. Well, so I guess, so the story is, um, embarrassingly, I hit a curb, bent so much shit under there. Mm -hmm. so and you got all that fixed, though. So it was down. So I got all that fixed, and then that's when I dropped it. That Actually, the first day that I drove it was Wednesday. That was, that was when nice. I got Nice. So, Hell yeah. yeah. That's yeah, awesome. All brand new. That's awesome. So I'm, I'm really enjoying all of it. This, yeah, yeah you we're enjoying it with you because this it. is a beautiful thing. Thanks, beautiful man. thing. All right, sir. What's your name and what's your favorite part about your car? My name's Parker. And uh, honestly, the favorite part would have to be my twin turbos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I, how loud are they? Are they like, significantly loud? Like, Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Really? Not at all? We meet up and win. Cool. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Uh, that's that's good though. That's good for uh, somebody to at least hear you. It would have to be about wheels. So I, I just picked those up not too long. Dude, ago, they are so. they are looking good. Thank they you. are very good. What are they? They're Advan RG D twos. R G D twos. What size? Uh, Sixteen by eight. Sixteens. Okay. Dude, the carbon is that is that a carbon carbing? Uh, no, it's, it's actually uh, from Moss Miata. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. It looks really so, good. So, majority of the parts on here are from Moss. Like, their Cobalt brand is okay. kind of their own brand. So, the intake, uh, headers, mid-pipe, muffler, that's all Cobalt. I didn't even yeah. see your headers before. Yeah. Dude, it looks good. And you have AC. Oh, I'm I so do. jealous of everyone yeah. who has don't, AC. Don't zoom in on the dipstick. I'm so, dude, just we're, to me. we're all in the same boat when it comes to that. It's the now. worst feeling when it happens because you're just like... I was at a meet, too. Now I'm just at a meet. I'm a, another Miata owner now. Oh, right? <laughs> Dude, this is looking good. Thank you. Looking super clean. The inside, I'm in love. Your your gauge clusters and everything. My favorite interior piece has to be that Nardi wheel, though. Yes. Very classical. Is it signed? Uh, it is. Uh, or well, what is that? Just oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, it looks good. Dude, everybody's hardtops look way better than mine <laughs> right now, and I'm just it's super just, jealous. My car's too dirty right now. <laughs> still looks good what do you mean appreciate it <laughs> what do you mean it's the green it just pops it, like it hides, the dirt it hides a it, it, you can't even tell it's really dirty to be honest with you you probably can oh, just because yeah. you live with it but uh -huh. from an outside viewer looking in yeah this is uh this is a beautiful piece of work what's your least favorite part about this car if you had a least favorite part i know it's a hard question i had a least favorite part let's say the uh fake roll bar Later, the fake roll bar. oh i get flamed on it too much okay i All want right. to take it out I actually put an actual roll bar in there, you know? I like your windbreaker, though. It's, it's amazing to have, but, you know, the style bars, they need to go. <laughs> I understand. Oh, I totally understand. Dude, it's so good. The cup holders, the in oh, it's so good. A little Amazon add-on. Dude. add-on. Dude, that's all it was? Dude, yeah. that's it. All right. Tell me who you are and what's your favorite part about your car. Uh, my name is Nico, and... Um, my favorite part about my car is the fact that it's a Miata. <laughs> hey, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. It is very clean. 
Thank it was you. a very clean example of a nice Miata. Where where did this this logo come from? Uh, this is uh, Spinny Woosh. Um, I just had one of my I had my handle done in custom gold vinyl, and um, that's a uh, that's them right there. Looks so uh, every, good. Everybody's heard of Spinny Woosh, but yeah, that vinyl just the held fact up. that it's still there. Yeah, just, I know it's already gone through thousands and thousands of miles. That's, of heat cycle that's and crazy, rain. dude. That's crazy. Yeah. I was blown away by that in the first place. What's your absolute least favorite thing about this car if you have one oh, uh, man i know tough question that is a tough one for this car because this car has been really 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 good to me yeah how long you had it for uh i've had it since march so I've okay had it for a little you know, close to six months oh, yeah. half a year um you know i've had some other uh standard cars before like i had a Mitsubishi lancer oz okay that was pretty fun oh i believe it <laughs> I, had a, I had a honda accord coupe a 3.0 that was fun Dang. but this is honestly one of the funnest uh manual cars i've ever bought dude um but yeah as far as like my least favorite things about it it was just it was neglected it was old yeah um i think it it wasn't reported but i think it has been in a couple uh little benders Fender benders yeah and um you know they put it back together pretty good but other than that, you know, it's not too bad. If I could right now, I would like to get my my dash and my interior fixed up. For sure. Um, get my top, get my top fixed. You know. Do you have a hard top too, or no? Uh, no, this just is soft, top? soft top. Okay. So that's why I kind of haven't really done much to the interior. No. Oh, I understand. I'm, I'm waiting to. Yeah, no. The top before I, do I would understand absolutely. So. Yeah, the tops are the hard things to come by these days. That's for sure. Yep. It's hard things to come by. I like this finish panel. Thank that's, you. That yeah, is a beautiful that's piece. That, that's the piece you see on Carbon Miata. Yep. I, I always debated, like, it looks good. And then I'm like, do I, can I pull that off? Is that something I could do? I but think it's, you know, it I, looks good. I have a vision for the rear end of this car anyway. Yeah. Like, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a wing, you know, change the, the rear end a little bit. Okay. A different exhaust and a diffuser and stuff. You have, so. Is it the stock exhaust now or you have a different one? Uh, yeah, I believe it's stock. I, I, I noticed that this tip is pretty, pretty large, but I think that's just stock. Okay. It, it nothing, looks good. I mean, special. The fact that you get to drive it in general is just a beautiful thing in the first place because <laughs> my car is rarely up. Most of the time it seems like it's down yeah. more so than anything, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, and it's a 1.6, man. And Same. It, it nice. It Dude, 1.6 is the, I'm telling you, it's cheap. It's the way to go. It had some things, you know, like like the alternator went out when I first Dude, got it. I, it had I love things. that. Oh, thank I you. Love yeah, that. stainless steel. Yeah, I, I love that. I, love I feel like I burned my hands on it, but I love that. So, and then these stainless pieces that you see, this one I'm actually going to powder coat to match the, the valve cover. Yeah, flake is crazy. I do all of my own uh, powder coating on my parts. Oh, nice. Okay. So this is a, this is a three stage with a primer, a white, and then a, this is an Adams gold that's, clear coat. That's so good. So it's a nice durable, it's a durable texture. It's not like paint, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't flake off. Yeah, and, absolutely. And, and haze, you know. And this, this is a... Uh, what is that? This is also, uh, that's actually a chrome powder coating. So, okay. So this, oh, yeah, that, was actually, that, was actually alum, that was aluminum. Uh, it was uh, more of like a orange color. And yeah. I stripped it down, sandblasted it, and then I did a, a super chrome over the top of it. Oh, yeah. You know, I could have polished it, but yeah. I just, I powder coated it just to show that you can you can make something oh, look just Dude, it looks like good. It. it looks really good. That's you know, nice. Just little stuff. This is my little project car everything i do is to like learn a new skill learn a absolutely new technique, and it's small enough where you know as far as materials go they're abundant and it, it just works so hey we've met you before what is what is this yeah dude this is this is my na miata so this thing man i got this thing for 900 bucks oh my god 900 bucks a uh, steal but you won't believe how much shit i've done to it so oh i'm you know, waiting this thing I'm excited. When, when I got it, you know, the, the engine was idling like it was cam. The timing was completely off. There was no misfire. The thing was stuck in reverse. It wouldn't get out of gear. And I, I already knew what the simple fix was. You yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. Pop the gear out, pop, you know, pop the gear back in place and then uh, put a new sensor in it. Call it a day. The interior is, I think it's my favorite part. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, the interior is my favorite part. This thing. So if, if only you would have seen like pictures of how it was before. <laughs> See, that's you know, that's the challenge right so, there is always finding the before yeah. pictures so I, I replaced the whole the whole dash gauge cluster hood you know, i put a quick release on there i uh, put a bucket seat harness extinguisher and then i i cleaned out everything i just completely cleaned everything out nice so keep it nice simple uh -huh. basic yeah, yeah what's the story behind the fire extinguisher is there a story behind that no there's no story well kind of okay so <laughs> for because I, I put a whole sound system in this thing right? okay I've got an amp powering the two the two six and a half speakers okay. and tweeters on there. But before I had that head unit, 
it was just a hole. It was just a blank hole. Okay. And the previous owner had Jerry rigged a cigarette lighter oh, in no. the center console. Oh no. So my girlfriend was driving it to work one day. The thing started smoking in the center console. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. She immediately turned it off, you know, yeah. and tried to put it out and then, you know, hopped out the car, called me and I came over and I saw exactly what it was. And ever since then, man, I was like, this thing needs an extinguisher. The guy that I got this from, he was not the guy that did all the other shit, you know, to the car. Yeah. It was the guy before him and I oh, tracked okay. him down. I tracked oh, him down. really? Wow. I tracked him down and I was like, you know, hey, tell me what you did to the yeah, car. Yeah, please. Because I'm, I'm trying, trying to save it. I'm trying to figure out what you did. And <laughs> Dude. I kid you not, like a lot of the stuff, he did lie to me. Like, Oh, blatantly? He, yeah, he was like, no, like, he, you know, he said, you know, oh yeah, the car's cammed. Um, the car has a stage two clutch and all of this. Dude, I've already put a clutch in it. Oh, my God. I already did the timing belt. Oh. You know, when I did, when I took the valve cover off, I knew there was, there was OEM cams yeah. there. So I'm like, there's no way you did all this. Dude, stuff. that's crazy. What would you say is your least favorite part about the car? The least favorite part right now, as it sits, I think, I don't know. I know it's a t it's the hardest question for everybody is yeah. to answer that one. Yeah, because I, I, you know, I, I, I at the very beginning it was the soft top. Yeah, it was, the soft top was duct tape. Oh, and that was my least favorite part of the car, and so I put a new soft top on it. Fair. Um, so that's pretty fixed. I think the least favorite part is I don't have sun visors right now. Ooh. I, I sit just just to the Ooh. just to the point where you know if i had a sun visor it's blocking it yeah. so perfectly dang yeah. it's funny you say that because i took mine out immediately after i got the car because yeah, no. i felt like they weren't doing anything mm -hmm. for me because they're just so small yeah, yeah. so so small but yeah, yeah. I, in a stock seat at that time it was like mm -hmm. wasn't a concern now that i'm in a lower seat yeah that's yeah, yeah. it is uh it'd be nice to have yeah, and also that dent that i have that's the guy tried to drift it oh do you drift this apart. no no and i i don't oh I don't, but the guy tried to drift it. Oh, the previous owner. and then he just clipped and the whole. Clipped the whole pole on it. I'm I mean, gonna get those replacement panels and have her cut all this and reweld it in there. Hell the yeah, panel, the that would be sick. There. That'd be so sick. And then that—that's when I'll do the the full paint job and everything to it. So that's fair. Oh, that's absolutely, dude. Thank you. Made it back home safe and sound. I just want to thank everybody who showed up uh, to Cars and Candy and bought some candy. It was a good time. Good time. So until next time. Catch y'all next one. Peace.